Welcome to our video series on if a steam cleaner is right for you. We want to address the point, another question we get asked a lot, whether this is before a customer buys a steam cleaner or after a customer buys a steam cleaner, is uh, wet steam versus dry steam. When uh, companies are talking about steamers and the term dry vapor steamers are used or the term vapor is used, it's just a different terminology for steam. Steam is water vapor and people advertise 95% vapor, 5% water, 97%. Um, you know, we're getting into minutia with the percentage of vapor versus water content. The thing about wet versus dry steam is uh, a combination of things. It's a combination of how much pressure do we have coming out of our steam hose, what pressure we're starting at with the machine, and what pressure you're, you're setting it at as you want the steam to blow out of the nozzle. Now, uh, we have customers that complain about wet steam on either our 100 machine or our 125 machine, but it's a high pressure machine. So the steam, especially with our valve, and remember on our vapor, all of our vapor chiefs, our vapor chief sing, single 75, this is our vapor chief 100 refill and the 125 injection, we all have the steam adjustment knob, which is basically a valve that opens and closes opens the steam to a big diameter or chokes it off so we let very little come out of the nozzle. Now we're starting at, on this machine, we're starting at 100 PSI in our boiler. On our 125 machine, we're starting at 125, 130 in our boiler. That's a lot of steam rushing out of the boiler through the hose, through the nozzle. Now, as we spray our steam and it comes out, wants to rush out of the boiler as fast as possible. That's on any steam cleaner. Now, because we have our valve wide open and because we were at a full 100 PSI to start, we had a lot of steam pushing out of the nozzle. It's a lot of volume, it's a lot of heat. Now, with that comes a little bit of wetness. This is just the condensation of the water vapor hitting the surface. That's normal. That's gonna be a byproduct of using steam at a higher pressure because our valve was wide open. So this is more wet steam technically because it's condensating as it hits the surface. Now if you're trying to clean a surface all the way out here, you would have the steam a little bit drier as it hits that surface, but the steam's not gonna be quite as hot. That's not gonna be effective cleaning. You'll keep the surface a little bit drier. So technically that's drier steam, but it's not as hot because it's hitting the atmosphere. So simply all you wanna do is just adjust your steam valve. So as we start our steam cleaner, as we start any one of the vapor chiefs at high pressure, and we lower our valve, we can basically make our steam a lot drier as we close our valve. So now that is less volume of steam coming out of the nozzle, and it's a lot drier hitting the surface. We're not making a lot of water vapor here but it's still extremely hot. We don't lose the heat. So when you want drier steam, simply turn your, turn your vapor knob, your pressure adjustment down, and you can regulate the amount of steam that comes out of the nozzle. You'll get much drier steam that way. The other trick that we also, it's not really a trick, it's just another byproduct of using steam, is when you use any of the brush attachments, whether it's the triangle brush to do a carpet, a piece of furniture, a floor mat, or if we use one of the brushes to do any kind of surface and we, we start to scrub the surface, whether this was a seat, whether this was a piece of carpeting, a door panel, anything in your house, anything in a kitchen, a bathroom. If we use steam at our lower pressure setting, we're still gonna create a little bit of condensation as we compress our brush up against the surface, we're instantly gonna condense the steam, turn it into a little bit of water. So that's a little bit of wetness. It's not that hard to wipe up. Now, the flip side is if you want a lot of wetness and you want to use the steam as almost a rinsing tool, simply increase your pressure. Now, by increasing our pressure, if we put that brush up against the surface now, we're going to create a lot more wetness because the steam has nothing to do but condensate once it hits the surface and you're gonna create more wetness, which is gonna be wet steam, but you can also use that as rinsing action. So again, we give you the opportunity to adjust your steam almost to nothing as it comes out of the nozzle, 
or to maximum pressure. So if we're at maximum pressure right now, and I put this brush up against the fender, we're gonna create a lot of condensation at the highest pressure setting. nowhere to go and it was rushing out of the nozzle at such high pressure and high volume that it made more wetness. It's not necessarily that it's wet steam, it's just we made it wet steam because we made it condensate on the surface. So again, if you're looking for drier steam, simply adjust our valve down to almost nothing. Now the advantage of all of our vapor chiefs is this pressure adjustment knob right here. Most competitors, they're only giving you a, a switch or two on the back of the gun, meaning you have low pressure, medium pressure, and high pressure. And we're starting our machine, this Vapor Chief Refill 100 is starting at 100 PSI. So you can adjust your steam pressure, volume, and wetness basically to almost nothing or a lot of wetness if you, if you choose to do it that way. So we give you that opportunity. If you want more dry steam, just lower your pressure, use it, use it off the surface a little bit more, and then uh, the brush, just don't press the brush up against your surface. That will cre create a slightly drier surface. So we just want you to know how to adjust your steam, how to make it a little bit wetter or drier, and control your machine from the start.